Welcome back to Rustic Rebuild Square Body Restoration number two. If you haven't seen the first video, uh, I would recommend you go watch that. Uh, kind of get you in the loop of everything I'm doing. I'll kind of tell you what's going on with this thing. But uh, last video it was uh, just a kind of cleaning up the shop, telling you everything about it. Today, I'm actually going to work on it. So I'm going to be dropping the fuel tank. I'm going to wash this up, I'm going to pull the ground off here, take the lines off, get this out of here. I've got to replace these straps. I want to clean the tank up, paint it, and then at, while that's drying, uh, I will start working on body work. Here, so I might, um, after I get that fuel tank pulled, back this truck out of the shop, which has... It's not moved for a while, but I'll just pull it out. Um, but wash this thing, at least the frame, everything, uh, axles, stuff like that, because it's just be that much closer for paint. Um, it's just mud everywhere, like I showed you in the last video. But and I'll go up here and clean all this too. Well, that's just paint or uh, mud. I mean, so right now. Get started on dropping the fuel tank. Nice. The fuel tank is empty. I don't like I said that, but so that makes it nice. Well, I just realized <clears throat> this is all rusted out here. And that's right where that strap mounts. So it looks like I'm gonna be doing some fab work on that. This side isn't nearly as bad, this is the front hanger. All right, got the fuel tank here. Mounts, hangers, whatever. Fuel. Line. I'm gonna put some bolts in here. Keep uh, water from getting in there. But this thing looks pretty good. I'm gonna go over it again, but it wasn't leaking before, so I think we'll be fine. Got that stuff cleaned up. <clears throat> Fuel tank out there. Grind off. I'm gonna grind these down now. Get these ready for paint.
I got this cut out, that bad part. Just cut a square out. Weld it in there. Now I'll just drill the holes in for the bolt for that strap. Got that welded up. And it'll be like three holes or something like that for the strap. I'll have to drill that out. Well, just seeing that the fuel tank actually is leaking. So, got the filler neck pulled off. That came off all right. Setting it out and we'll be getting a new fuel tank. So now that I got the tank and the brackets for the tank off, I'm going to take the bumper and the hitch off because this is all rust jacked and I don't want to pressure wash this whole frame and paint it with all that still being in there. So I'm going to pull all that out and clean this up before we clean the rest of the frame up. Got the truck rolled out of the shop. Took the hitch and the bumper off and found it's quite a bit rustier than I thought it was. But, not a big deal. There's not a bunch of weight back here. There's a bolt here for the bed on both sides, but you can see here it's rusted here, it's cracked right there, but. I'm just going to do the best thing and leave it. Before I start grinding this frame down, uh, I'm gonna remove these wheels, or these tires, take these wheels off, uh, put it on jack stands and start grinding this frame down. And that way there's not a bunch of dust on the wheels and when I paint it, I don't want the wheels to be there anyways because I don't want overspray on them, so. anti-theft lug nuts. There's not a socket in this truck for that, but thankfully my other truck 
came with this because the wheels are like that on that. So, I've got one of these. I'm going to venture to say that these brakes no longer work. Got the frame painted now. I'm gonna let it dry and then repaint the outside at least. And here where you're gonna be seeing it through the wheel well. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this here. Uh, got the frame painted. And in the next video, probably going to do a little bit of painting on the outside again just to finish that up and then throw the wheels back on and the shocks and move on to floor pan cab corner and the rockers so like and subscribe <laughs>